hello hello everyone welcome again to my channel Zeno Netic. today I'm going to be showing you how you can add multiple subtitle sources on your TV made application so stay tuned this is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do this before we get started I just want to inform you this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only if you find any value in this video which you will please smash that like button hit that subscribe button so you can start following my channel yes 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 so the scenario here is uh, when you have your TV made application and you have a playlist and the subtitle source sources is not fully working with all the channels and you have an additional uh, source for that you can add a additional second source instead of just deleting the first one so you can work with both of them so yeah that's about it I'm going to uh, go into the TV made application now just to be clear I do not host or provide any services so let's go ahead and open up TV made and uh, we're on a test uh, playlist right now which is not working and we're gonna hit OK and we're gonna go down uh, just to remind every all, ev everyone I'm using a Google TV Chromecast for this tutorial but you can use this also on the, Sam uh, the Sony TV Philips TV if you have a Samsung or LG TV then you won't be able to even download the TV made application if you're interested in the TV made application I highly recommend you download buying the Google TV Chromecast 4k which will make your LG or Samsung really smart uh, so yeah we're gonna go in the TV made application hit OK on the remote control go down hit swipe left and you'll be in the TV the settings uh, icon which you can't see because my head is in front of it so let's just do that again and here we go we're in the settings menu the next step is to go to the EVG section right here hit OK and here you'll have some settings which will be very uh, good to pass by uh, like update on start just swipe that open update on playlist change also uh, whenever you have this uh, uh, problem which you see right here last update update status filled well this is not a working playlist so for this is normal but if you have a working playlist and you get this notification you just hit clear EPG and then update EPG so that's first this one and then this one if it still doesn't work uh, restart your device totally take it out of the power and put it back in uh, yes here you can also see uh, how many days you want to keep the EPG so yeah that's about it now next step is to go to EPG sources as you can see here we have multiple sources uh, again none of these are working it is just a uh, uh, pre-made uh, list here and so we have four you can either choose this one to make it uh, default and if it's not default it will still work on it you can I'd also add source here you can uh, add the URL for the EPG it is that easy uh, so yeah after you added it it will be uh, added right here oh it will be added right here and then you'll have the fifth so I have four that easy folks I got a lot of requests of how, how to do this so uh, here it is I hope you enjoyed it if you did please smash that like button and hit that subscribe button thank you all again for watching and goodbye